In the last video, I swapped out the stock silver wheels that were a really busy look for these really lightweight, clean looking design black HRE wheels. But I still have the chrome Porsche caps in the middle. What I want to do is black this out so that it matches the wheel and it's a little bit cleaner look. What I want it to do is look more like the Cadillacs where the center cap doesn't have the bright gaudy logo, it's just blacked out. Now on this wheel, for those center caps, I ended up using black Plasti Dip. What I'm going to do on this Porsche one is actually buy some spare center caps and paint them black with paint instead of the Plasti Dip. I tried to find just some plain flat center caps for those center lock wheels and couldn't find any. I think this was a GT2 or 3 cap I found. And I thought the GT3 was just painted on, but you can see even after I tried sanding it, it still has some texture. So that won't work. I tried some HRE center caps. They come silver and black like this, but I tried one just scuffing it up and painting it to make sure it would come out okay. And since that looks good, I'm gonna do the set of four. So I'm gonna start with my set of four center caps from HRE. We wanna make sure that the paint sticks to these things like glue. And to do that, just to be sure, I'm going to scuff them all with like a gray scotch Bright pad just to give them some texture for mechanical holding and then we'll rinse them off with some acetone before we actually spray them. Get the outer ring too where we're also going to paint that. Now that they're all scuffed, the next thing we want to do is tape the part we don't want painted. You can see there's an O-ring here on each of them and that's what helps seal the inside when you press the cap in place. So what we're going to do is tape everything from that part down and then we'll be ready to wash it off with acetone and paint. Start with some kind of masking tape, roll it around, and we'll just kind of tuck it in that way. Now you can see we've protected the o-ring and what we're going to do is spray it from the top down so we don't have to worry about anything underneath there. Everything's taped. Now I'm getting a little bit of acetone on the end of the rag. I'm going to hold it by the taped part at the bottom and I'm just going to clean all that surface that I've been scuffing where we want to paint with the acetone and then quickly take a clean part of the rag and wipe it off so that any residue with any dust and dirt and stuff comes off. So now don't touch what you've cleaned, just set it off to the side. I very carefully put all the caps so I can paint them from above, get the silver edges without getting anywhere I don't want it. It's not very windy outside, so I should be able to do this quickly. Then I'm gonna carry that inside so that no dust or bugs or anything get in it while it's out here. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and do one more good coat. Now I've carried them back in the garage, like I said, so no dirt or anything falls out of the sky or the trees on them in the backyard. I'm going to let them dry and then I'll go through the installation. The caps are all dry from the paint job yesterday. Time to actually install them. To do this, you're going to need the little cap key, which is located up under your trunk or bonnet or wherever you're calling it. Lift up the two sides. It's going to be over here on the driver's side, right in this little gadget. Pull the cap off, and it's right in the bottom there. There we go. Okay. Finally got it out of there. Now you want to gently take the old one off. Where the tip of the Porsche crest is, you should see a little gap. You want to go all the way in. There you go. I suggest you put these little beauties someplace safe so you don't end up buying a new set if you ever go to sell the car. Now remember we put the blue tape on the bottom. We want to take that tape off. Make sure you get all the tape off. Now you can see a nice clean exposed o-ring. If for any reason you got any dirt or anything on that, make sure to clean that o-ring off. In fact, it's not a bad idea to just wipe it off with some kind of general purpose cleaner before you stick them in there so it doesn't stick extra bad into the spot. There you go, just clean that little rubber ring off well. There's nothing in there and you make sure you get a good seal. 
Now you just pop it in place. I'm going to put the tail of it toward that notch where I use this tool again so it's just like the stock ones. You basically just press evenly all around it. Make sure it's all stuck in from all angles. That's all there is to it. And just do the other ones. Remember to put your tool back into the center cap tool and back where it belongs. Lid on top. And then put this back in place. Snap it there. Snap there. Everything's in place there. Then just make sure your seal is up and over. that piece. There we go. Now the last of the colorful Porsche crests are off the car and all we've got is just nice sleek black and chrome on this thing. Except for those yellow brakes. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more about how to enjoy amazing machines like this.